Hello, all those uh, hopeful college prospects out there. It's Coach Cook at Baseball University again, and we have another good se uh, segment for you today. Uh, we have Coach Kelly from Massachusetts Maritime uh, sitting down with us today to talk about his program and provide some recruiting information to the families out there that will hopefully help them along, uh, along the way on their journey to playing at the uh, college level. So, Coach, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. All right, Coach, the first question I have for you, um, I usually start out with this question is, where'd you come from? You know, what's your baseball background and, and how did you end up at Massachusetts Maritime? Well, it's kind of an easy answer because I, I, uh, I attended Mass Maritime. So um, I'm from Massachusetts, uh, Central Mass, and uh, played high school ball, obviously, and then uh, played, played four years at Mass Maritime. Second question, Coach, uh, fill us in on Massachusetts Maritime's program. How have you all performed in recent years, and what changes have you uh, made since you came to the program? Yeah, so um, I've been with the program for the last year. So after I played, um, I left for five or six years, and then I, I ended up coming back to the school. So um, I was, when I came back, I was assistant coach for 10 years, and I've been the head coach for the last five years. Um, in the last five years, we've won the regular season three out of the last five years. Um, and the biggest thing that I've done since I've taken over the program is, is probably that the mental aspect of the game, um, just trying to get um, more technology, more of the, of the mental the classroom part of it um, that we didn't have before um, for, for uh, reasons of we, didn't, we just didn't have the technology. We didn't have the um, setup to do that uh, in the past. So that's kind of the, the, the next step, and that's I'm kind of right in the middle of it now. Um, I'm not to where I want to be, but we're getting there. What is your favorite moment so far while being the coach at Massachusetts Maritime? Um, my favorite moment um, was probably uh, the I think it was the 2016 uh, conference playoffs where we were within four outs of. Uh, four innings of going to the, the NCAA playoffs, which would have been our first time ever going to the, the NCAA playoffs. So we, we, were, we were literally four innings away. We were tied in the fifth inning of, of the final game, um, but we just, we just ran out of pitching. All right, Coach, next question. Explain the day-to-day -day lifestyle of a baseball player at Massachusetts Maritime. All right, so we have a Mass Maritime which means um, it's, it's, a, it's a leadership laboratory. So we wear uniforms, we observe the military customs and courtesies on campus, um, but there's no military commitment afterwards. So the, 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 the average day of one of our students is gonna be a lot different from the average day of um, somebody at Florida State or, or Miami or something like that. So, um, the day of a freshman and the day of a junior are two totally different days also. Um, freshman year, you're, you're the bottom of the totem pole. You are um, taking orders from everybody. Um, so I will go over the day of a freshman um, just so you can kind of see that's kind of um, the starting point when you come in as a freshman. Um, you're going to get up around 6 o'clock, um, do some cleaning or a team lift. When we're in season, we'll, we'll have team lifts in the morning twice a week. Um, morning for uh, – Sorry, room inspections at seven. So at seven o'clock every morning, you'll have room inspections as a freshman. After room inspections, we have morning formation. So the whole school goes out to the parade field. Um, we march out, play the national anthem, uh, salute the flag, and then you're basically ready for classes at eight o'clock. Um, from eight to four o'clock in the afternoon, uh, you'll have classes. It'll be block schedule, just like any other school. Um, from four to six, we'll practice. After practice, you grab dinner, and then from 8 to 10 every night, as a freshman, you'll have mandatory study hours. So there's your day from 6 in the morning until 10 at night uh, as a freshman at Mass Maritime. All right, Coach. Um, you know, your, your school is a very decorated school, and it's shown up in a lot of national publications. Um, you know, can you elaborate on the academic success that many of your students have had and what careers they've uh, taken after graduation? Sure. Um, Mass Maritime, I mean, first, first and foremost, if you come to Mass Maritime, you're not coming to play baseball. You're, you're coming for the great education and for, for basically what Mass Maritime can do for you when you get out of there. Um, I have a little saying, four for 40, you're going to put four years of hard work in at Mass Maritime for a great 40-year career afterwards. Um, 
it's kind of funny that we're not, even though we have seven majors, we're not kind of pigeonholed into those majors. We have um, guys doing all kinds of stuff. I'll talk about some of my friends um, that I graduated with. Um, one of them, I was a facilities engineer when I graduated. So I went and worked for uh, Bayer Pharmaceutical, like Bayer Aspirin. Went and worked there for, for uh, six years. And then um, my friend, who's also an engineer, he's now in the state police. He's a K-9 officer in the state police right now. Um, I have another friend that was Marine Safety and Environmental Protection. He's a state police in the, up in New Hampshire. Um, I have another friend who um, is an electrician. You know, there, there's just so many different directions that you can go. I have other ones that are health and safety inspectors. Um, it's, it's just crazy how many different directions. And then I have another friend that um, works for the, the, the New York Mets. It's just, it's crazy on how many different directions you can go with a, with a degree from Mass Maritime. Um, some of the publications that you're talking about is, you know, Mass Maritime has the, the highest uh, retention rate, uh, job placement rate, and graduation rate of any public school in New England. Um, some of that stuff that I sent to you, we have return, our, our return on investment is, is number four in the nation a, a couple of years ago behind Harvard, MIT, and Stanford, where, and then it was Mass Maritime was number four. Um, so it's just, it's just a great, great educational school and then if you can play athletics on top of it, it just, it makes the whole, you know, the whole experience that much more greater. What does enrollment look like at Massachusetts Maritime? Is it a large school? Um, what do the classroom sizes look like? Yeah, um, we, we, are, we are not a, a large school by any means. We, we have about 1,700 students. Um, your, your longest walk is going to be three or four minutes from the dorms to the gym. That's going to be your longest walk of the, of the day. Um, and our we actually have a really good um, faculty to student ratio. It's about um, student to faculty ratio, about 13 to one, 14 to one. Um, your class sizes are gonna be like, basically like your high school classes where you have 20 to 25 students in it, but you're gonna have labs with six or eight students in it. So that's kind of where the numbers uh, even out. So um, the, 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 the philosophy we have is a learn, do, learn type of philosophy. So you're not gonna be sitting in class um, five days a week, usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday is classes, and then Tuesday, Thursdays are your lab days. So, um, so you get to get your hands dirty. You're not, you're not sitting in front of a book for five days a week for four years. All right, coach, run us through a, a, a typical practice schedule, um, and any sort of lifting or film analysis or sports psychology that you were speaking about earlier, just kind of, um, you know, what does that look like throughout a practice or a, a week of practice? Sure. Um, we try to start off every practice with some classroom time. Um, so we'll try to get in there and either um, install something or watch the day before his practice um, to, to kind of get to kick things off. So we, we try to at least start off with a, even if it's 10 minutes in the classroom, we will start there and then we'll go over to the field. Um, once we get over to the field, we'll stretch. And then after stretching, what we, what we have been doing is, is kind of, um, right in the bases to get, to get our uh, base running in. Instead of trying to put it in the middle of practice, we'll put it in, we put it in right after, uh, right after stretch. Um, so then we'll get base running in and then we'll throw. Um, after that, we'll do individual stuff. So it's, all, it's all, almost like a football practice where we, where we do stretch, individual, um, group type work, and then team stuff. Um, every day is different, but uh, we always start off with stretch, base run, throw, Indy, and then we can get into the group and, and uh, the team, the teamwork. Coach, what tools do you like to look for uh, in a recruit? And, you know, what type of ball player fits best into your program and your strategy? Well, we, we kind of go at, at it a different way. We, we have to make sure that the, the student athlete is the right fit for Mass Maritime before we can go after um, the athlete it's, itself, the, the player. Um, because we get to the quick no when we, when we start talking about Mass Maritime because of our regiment, because of the, you know, the majors that we offer. Um, so what we do is we, we try to cast a huge net and, and see who is, who is interested in Mass Maritime into the, into the lifestyle that we have. And then we go from there. And 
what we do is we, we also, we don't guarantee anybody a spot on the team. We, we say you have, once you get to Mass Maritime, you earn your spot on the team. Um, and that goes for everybody that's on the team, that's currently on the team, because that's the only way we're going to get better is if they get better um, over the summer and over the fall and, and over the winter, um, is to keep getting better and better and better. So it's a tough question to answer as far as what do we look for. Um, we look for the Mass Maritime player fit before we look for anything else. Coach, what other characteristics do you look for in a recruit besides the baseball ability? Are the mental and educational aspects of the player as important as the physical? Um, I, I think so. Uh, baseball IQ is huge. Um, you know, you can have, you know, one of the best hitters in the, in the league, but if you can't run the bases, then, you know, um, you have to pinch run for him. So there, there's, there's different things that uh, every kid brings to the table as far as the, the mental part of the game. Um, but that's, that's why I mentioned before, that's, that's kind of the, some of the stuff that we're incorporating into our classroom time before practice, um, is trying to get that, that we need to jump up in the mental part of the game as much as, as, as anybody else. So, um, as coaches, we we learn from the kids as, as well as the kids learn from us. So it's, it's just, it's part of the game that, that we always have to, to strive to get better in and then that we're, we're never going to know it all. So it's just learn as much as you can. So beyond the maritime connection and the um, prestigious education, what are some other attractive features of your university that you try to introduce your recruits to? Um, we have, I mean, our, our campus is, is located um, on the Cape Cod Canal. So we're surrounded by, by water on three sides. It's a gorgeous campus. Um, we have our own 550 foot ship. So um, if you do want to get into the Marine Transportation and Marine Engineering, um, we have a, um, a, sea, a sea term every January and February. The, the, the ship goes down to the Caribbean for six weeks um, and they do training on the ship while they're down there. Um, and they usually stop at four ports, um, Aruba, Jamaica, Miami, Tampa, um, Costa Rica, the Panama, they've been all they've been all to all the islands down there. So that's that's a huge job for the for the students that want to you know career on the water. Um, and then and just our facilities, our facilities are top notch. Um, I'm sure you'll see some pictures later on about with our facilities, our baseball fields, turf. Um, you know, we try to run a Division One program on a Division Three budget. Is kind of what we try to do. Um, being in Massachusetts, are most of the players that you sign for your team mostly from New England? And, you know, is it enticing to look into warmer states for recruits? Um, most of our students are from Massachusetts or, or New England because we are a state school. So it's, a, it's an easy decision for, for the kids that are close. Um, however, we do have um, players from all over the place, from Washington, um, Washington State, Seattle, Washington, we have a student from there. We have a, a kid from Texas coming up this year. We have two kids from Florida. Um, we have a player from Delaware, um, Pennsylvania. We have, we have students from, from all over, be, probably because of our majors, more than, more than the baseball program, the, the marine transportation, the marine engineering, uh, emergency management that, that a lot of schools don't offer. Um, so we do have students from far away. Um, but the majority are probably, you know, Mass, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, New England type states. All right, coach, discuss the location of your university. Do your players uh, get to enjoy the surrounding area while attending the school? Um, we're located on the Cape Cod Canal, um, which is about a, an hour south of Boston, an hour north of Providence. Um, I'm sure most of you heard of, of Cape Cod, so we're right right there on the canal um yeah our students do um the, the thing about mass maritime is we also have we don't have a tri-semester but it's almost split up a little differently where the fall semester is the same but the spring semester doesn't start until around march 1st because we have the c term in january and february which kind of pushes everything back so um our second semester is like march 1st to june 10th say um, so that kind of that kind of throws a wrench in everything, but that's when the Cape 
you know, gets going is, you know, at the end of spring and beginning of fall and all through the summer is when, when everything's booming on the Cape. So yes, they do, they do get to experience that.